хто захищає наші кордони, окрім військових? Інноватори, стартапери, підприємці. Brave One, launched by Ukraine, is an ambitious initiative to develop military technology with the help of experts from around the world. From defense and cybersecurity systems to the creation of non-traditional weaponry such as automated or autonomous weapons. Thanks to developments in the field of artificial intelligence, these could operate independently and change military operations forever. But their future implementation is controversial. The big debate is what role humans will play. Constantemente hay misiones que se abortan por cuestiones éticas, legales, técnicas, simplemente por la propia evolución del combate. This also involves a loss of moral agency. Um, because with a human operator, um, there is always a possibility, in theory, that a human might exercise compassion and empathy and a sort of human judgment. And uh, a system that is trained on, on data and pre-programmed to do something doesn't have that option. In the not-so-distant future, there could be operations with swarms of drones, robot dogs, or even humanoid robots that could participate in armed conflicts, avoiding a large number of human casualties. But there are a number of risks. When using artificial intelligence, the algorithms could have biases in their data models, such as biometric facial identification errors or the lack of a deep assessment of their environment. Our expert gives an example. ¿Qué pasa si ese blindado ha sido capturado por fuerza propia o aliadas? ¿Qué pasa si ese carro de combate, ese modelo está siendo usado también por fuerzas aliadas? ¿O si está momentáneamente junto a tropas aliadas o contra eh, zonas vedadas como puede ser un templo o una escuela? This idea that so-called killer robots kind of gain their own consciousness and appear on the battlefield, um, and that, that's, a, that's a futuristic thing and kind of it's from science fiction and, and movies. That, that's not really what the debate should be about. The unexplored scenarios of artificial intelligence in warfare have generated great concern in the international community. Civilian AI experts have called for a six-month suspension of the development of this technology to study its possible consequences. And there's a call for countries to accelerate regulations. Governments around the world are very interested and visibly interested in investing, uh, keep investing a lot of money into these technologies. There, there is an urgent need to to kind of address uh, this with with legally binding rules, address these challenges because currently, international the current international regulations, international humanitarian law, is isn't sufficient uh, to to address these challenges.